Welcome to video 142 in series 3, and now I'll write the melee hit effect script. Okay, so just make a new C sharp script. Melee hit effects. Okay, I won't need the start and update methods, and I'll have a new one here void spawn hit effect. It takes two parameters, so collision, hit collision, and transform, hit transform. So these will be supplied by the event. Okay, the variables of so private, melee master, melee master, public game object, Default hit effect, public game object, enemy hit effect. In set initial references, melee master is get component, melee master. I'll call that an on enable. So set initial references. And while I'm at it, I'll just say melee master dot uh, event hit plus equal spawn hit effect. And have the unsubscribe. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is to write a bit of code so that the particle that gets spawned, that gets instantiated, will be normal to whatever surface it struck. So I should, have, I should have done this with the guns. I'll have to do it in another video later. It just makes it look a lot better. Okay, so quaternion. I'll just call it quatangle. I'll just make this up. Uh, is equal to quaternion dot look rotation. And that'll be hit collision dot contacts. First item in the index dot normal and this will give us an appropriate vector so that when we come to instantiating the particles they'll be facing away from the normal face from the perpendicular face of whatever uh, we've struck so that would look very good like if you hit shot against a um, mountain side or whatever it would actually protrude it look like the particle effects are protruding out of it so i should have done that with the guns i'll have to make do another video some sort of like improvement general improvements video later uh, with that and a couple of other things to make uh, stuff look better okay so if hit transform dot get component and I'm just going to check for the enemy take damage script. So enemy take damage is uh, not equal to null. So that means what was struck was an enemy. So that's what I'm checking here. So that'll determine what type of um, you know particle to spawn. Instantiate enemy hit effect at what location? That is hit collision dot contacts again uh, the first index uh, dot point okay so that's the uh, position vector and um, then uh, last of all just the quad angle all right now if that's not the case so else it wasn't an enemy then I need to do uh, I need to instantiate the default hit effect All right, so that should do it. Let's go over to Unity, attach it on. And let me just get it, so default, oops, wrong spelling, there we go, default hit effect, and enemy hit effect. Good, I'll just apply that, hit play. Good. There we go. Nice. So that's working properly. How about I go hit an enemy? Yep. 
Nice. Very good, very good. And there we go. So we've got it working, and uh, I'd say that's pretty successful. Okay, so thanks for watching, and I guess I'll see you in the future videos.